Hello, I'm John Smizer, pastor in the Southern California area, and today I come and ask you to join me in a very special wish for someone. I wish that you would, with me, say happy birthday on the count of three, would you? One more time. Here we go. One, two, three. Happy birthday. Well, thank you for wishing my wife, Deborah, a happy birthday on here the 24th, Wednesday of May. And it's a great day, and I'm looking forward to the time uh, ministering and celebrating with her her birth and life and all that we have. Today, I want us to guide, look into Numbers, the book of Numbers, as we look at the end of chapter 6. And we see a very special blessing that is going to be placed upon the people as Aaron is told by Moses, who's asked by God to bless the people. And we're going to examine this idea of a, a blessing and who gives the blessing and how does the blessing affect a person's life. Today we look forward to see what God will do in our lives through the blessing of His Word today. Join me in our study together. Numbers chapter 6 verses 22 through 27. The Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, This is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. So they will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. Today in our passage from the book of Numbers, we see that the Lord said to Moses to instruct Aaron to bless the people of Israel. Now, Aaron was the priest or the one who would bring the message of God into the people's lives. Those ones who speak for God are called the priests. And so often that in ways our pastors will be our priests. There, there are those other Sunday school teachers or small group leaders that really will affect us in a priestly manner. Now there's another portion of being a priest in that my grandfather in our family Yes, he was a pastor, and he would be a pa he he was a circuit pastor in uh, Florida, and when he was seventy two, I still remember him not speaking a word of Spanish, but at seventy two he took his Spanish and English Bible, and I didn't see him for two years. He went down into an area called Baja, down in Mexico. And when he returned, he spoke, spoke fluent Spanish. And he was then a, a pastor down in those areas. And he would be a priest to those people. Now, he was a priest in our family. We would always go to uh, Grandpa Sam, and he would instruct us and teach us and share with us the things of God. When my grandfather passed away my, in our family with all of the children and everything, my father then took on that role. He was a leader, an elder in a church, and he was the one who people sought out for correct uh, decision-making, uh, the idea of a, a, a struggle of life. And my father would be the one we would ask to pray at, at family dinners. Now that my father has passed away, that has passed on to me. And in our family gatherings. My sister and her husband and uh, my children, they all look to me to be that one who brings God to them. And the question I would have for you today is, who is that priest in your life? Who is that priest that brings God to your, your family, to your circumstance, to your small group or to your church? I want you to, to think about that today. Now, you may be that one in your family that is the priest. And let's look at this blessing that Aaron is instructed to guide the people in. It's, we find it first here in verse 24, where it says that 
the Lord bless you and keep you. It's a very precious blessing. I have a, uh, a little piece of jewelry that came from my college years. It, it was with me through many years. It was a little piece that my father had given to me, and I hold on to it, and I cherish that. And I keep it close. It's, it's kind of in a guarded place, and I watch over it. And so the blessing here is that the Lord bless you and keep you. Hold on to you like a, a cherished heirloom of some sort, that you, you are not just thrown about the house in some way. You know you're having a special place. And so this first blessing is the Lord bless you and keep you. Then it goes on to the Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. Now, this idea of God's face shining upon you is all, uh, there's an antithesis of this spoken of in the Psalms. When, when the psalmist would say, oh, don't turn your face away from me. Don't turn and not listen to me, God. There is the two different relationships that God would at points when there was a struggle, he, he, he may just not listen. It says in 1 Peter that a, a man who does not treat his wife appropriately, that he does not treat her in a manner that is uh, loving and gracious, his prayers are not listened to. And so it's a challenge that here in this blessing is that the Lord God, he makes his face to shine upon you, that, that we look to this idea that he is seen over us and he's considering us. And what is it he's going to do? He's going to be gracious to us. Graciousness. That's that God's riches where he just pours out his mercy and love and all that God has for us because of what Christ did on the cross. God's riches at Christ's expense. It goes on here to say in the third of the blessings, it says, the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. My granddaughter was at dinner last night, and in a crowd, wherever she's at, I must tell you, I turn my face and I watch what my granddaughter is doing. She gets my attention. With all the busyness and conversation, I look to my granddaughter. I turn my face toward her. And in all the busyness of life and the struggles we have, God turns his face upon us and he gives you peace. Peace doesn't mean that we don't have challenges. No, it's confidence that we know God's in control, that we know who's in charge, and we know the outcome will be his very best for our lives. Today, God has a blessing for you. There'll be a result that come out of this blessing that Aaron was to speak upon the children of Israel. It would be that God's name would be on their hearts, that they would be children of God. They are, Israel is, they are the chosen people of God. Now, in our walk with God, there's the opportunity we have to receive those blessings he has for us that we ad admit that we need a Savior, we believe that Jesus is as Savior, and then we choose to follow Him. And His name is then upon our lives. My question is today, are, are you a child of God? Are you a Christian? Are you a follower of God? In that way, I have something to say to you. The Lord bless you, and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. That is my prayer for us today. Lord, just guide us and pour out your blessings in our lives and turn your face toward us, Lord, for we desire to do your will in your precious name. Amen.
프로그램은 시청자 여러분의 소중한 후원으로 제작됩니다. <목소리>